welcome everyone to uh, a new round of uh, the former legends of uh, the stadium. Uh, this time I'm talking to Rayo Piroya. Welcome, Rayo. Hello. Uh, I can start with saying that uh, you were a difficult uh, man to find for me. Why? Uh, well, uh, uh, it's uh, quite difficult for me to, uh, you know, uh, we have yellow pages. Uh, okay. Every, everybody in Fredrik said that my phone number. The uh, problem is that uh, I don't know all of them, but in the end, I got your number from uh, Dag Solheim. Okay. And he told me hello, also... Hello to, hello to Dag. Yeah, he told me to say the same. So, uh, so he was the one who saved me. So, uh, how is uh, life, uh, Rayo? What can I say? Normal life. Now I have two children, wife, working every day as a fisherman. Yeah. Like a uh, normal life. Yeah. Do you miss football? Uh, sometimes. But uh, but when I when I go to training in the afternoon, then it reminds me every day why I'm not playing football anymore. <laughs> yeah, all the cold and all the all the cold days yeah. out on the field. Knees, knees and hips and uh, ankles and and, uh, and everything. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a tough life, uh, I think, uh, and especially when you think about how you were as a player. I mean, you didn't put anything in between your tackles, so uh, you must have you must feel it on the body today. Yeah, but it's the same in fishing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. you, you went me. from uh, tackling uh, humans to tackling fishes. So yeah. Well, I always remember from uh, reading in the newspaper here in Fredrikstad that you enjoyed fishing. Yes, then, then it was my hobby. Yeah. Now it's now it's my work. So I'm I'm kind of very happy person because uh, I liked football. It was my hobby and the job uh, in same. And now it's uh, now it's fishing. So yeah. I have to say I'm uh, I'm one very lucky guy. Yeah, you have your own boat, or yes, I have three of them. Three. Yeah, but they are not like. Uh, very big ones. Yeah. They are ten, ten, ten meters long. So, yeah, but uh, nothing, still, nothing special. Still, it's a, uh, it's a good start. Yeah, it's it's you you make a decent living out of it if you work if you work hard. Yeah, and and that's basically what it's about. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you if you earn enough to uh, make a decent living, then. Uh, what more can you ex I mean then you have everything you need yeah but uh, one thing is to become a fisherman first you have to be a professional football player yeah because, <laughs> because it's it's so expensive it's so expensive to start so I spent all my life savings uh, to become a fisherman so yeah. so in, in in one way you you had a hobby for uh, like 20 years uh, or, or longer with football and then you, all the money you earn from that hobby, you invested in your other hobby. Uh, so, exactly, exactly. So uh, it's, it's few people I talk to that basically can uh, live off their hobby all their life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, that's I told you, I'm, I'm a lucky one. Yeah. Um, do you miss uh, living in Fredrikstad? Or yes, yes, that's that's the one one thing I'm I'm missing a lot. That yeah. that was definitely best years in my life. Yeah, so uh, it was a nice place uh, to go fishing at least. Yeah, not not only fishing. Uh, I I really love Fredrikstad. It's 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 very nice and small city. So yeah, actually I, we we had a, we had a, we, we we made the plans to come to Fredrikstad uh, this autumn as well, but but we cancelled it because of uh, COVID nineteen. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite bad. Uh, how how has it been in uh, in Estonia? Has it been much? COVID? Uh, it's it's sort of it's sort of same like in Norway. Mm, yeah. it's, it's not not out of hands. It's pretty much uh, under control. 
yeah, but that's 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 good because uh, it's a scary disease. So uh, so uh, it's important to to be careful. Um, I want to talk a little bit uh, to start talk a little bit about uh, all your years in Fredrikstad, and uh, I mean uh, there were you were special. I mean uh, I, I don't think you will ever be forgotten in this town uh, because I don't think I've in my in my life uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen someone with your passion on the field. Yeah, that's that's good to hear. So, but I I have to tell you, I'm never going to forget it myself when I played in Fredrikstad. So, as I said, it's uh, these were my best years as a player and uh, and uh, as a, as a person as well. Yeah, and uh, it kind of when you went away, everything went downhill. So, uh, so um, yeah, now you re you really were here the best years and. Uh, it's kind of it's sad what happened afterwards. Do you still uh, do you, do you like follow the team still? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm, it's it's a whole it's an old habit. Every morning I wake up, so uh, of course I read uh, local newspapers online and uh, Fredrikstad Blad as well. Yeah. So uh, I've been following it. So in football five wise, it hasn't been very 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 nice following for the last couple of years. But uh, it seems now everything is coming back. Yeah, this season has been, uh, it's been good. Uh, it's been uh, good to be a, a fa fan again, uh, like, mm. I, like I am. Um, I, uh, ten wins in a row. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, yeah, it was times when it was it was happening in the past as well, but but now it has been a period without without a good 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 season. How was it uh, when when you when you left from Fredrikstad? Did you did you play any in? in you did play some in Estonia before you stopped or? No, actually, from uh, from Fredrikstad, I I got sold to Vitesse in Holland, but uh, immediately in the, in the first months, I got a nasty knee injury. So mm -hmm. after operations, they told me that my career is over. So but I worked hard for uh, almost eight months to build the knee up again. So. Uh, and for a for a short period, I was uh, back at home, and uh, then I went to, to play in China in uh, first first division in China. Mm. So I played there for uh, all year and uh, got back to national team as well. So, so, uh, so, 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 you, so you actually managed, even if they said that your your knee was done and. And that you couldn't play any more football, you managed yeah. to play more. I had, I, yeah, I had, a, I had a dream that uh, I finished the career when I'm saying it's finished, not, uh, not, not, not the, <laughs> not knee the doctors, or, not, 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 the, not, not my knee or or the doctors. So actually, it was a pretty, pretty good end. So in my second last game, we made uh, qualification games against Holland. Uh, we made a draw, one-one. And uh, and uh, the next game uh, was friendly against Turkey, and I got the nasty injury again, and then it was over. Yeah. How many matches did you get for uh, your national team? One hundred fifteen. Yeah. Did, did you? Is it is it in Estonia, like in Norway, that you get to watch and stuff like that after a certain amount of matches? Or yeah. no, not the watch. I got uh, I got some kind of uh, medal. Yeah, it, uh, it's it's not that many people that uh, managed to get above one hundred uh, matches for the national team. That that says a lot about what a long and good career you basically had. Yes, but it's it's easier to get uh, one hundred games in uh, small small countries than uh, than in the bigger countries. So. Yeah, uh, 
I don't know. Uh, if you if you compare Estonia to Norway, I mean Norway is uh, is a big country in 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 size, but it's small in amount of people, and uh, uh, it's 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 not that many that have managed that. So I, I think that's something you but should still, be really proud of. Yeah, but still, Norway is still producing many fantastic football players. So yeah, yeah. We are, we are now. We, are, we do have some, some super talents out there. Uh, that's for sure. Um, so you said that you did have a plan to go here this, uh, this year. Uh, was it to watch a game or just to visit some old friends? Or? Uh, yeah, mainly visit friends. And of course, every time I'm in Fredrikstad, I'm vis visiting in stadium as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I had a plan to run a Fredrikstad marathon, try it, try it again. So yeah. I did it. I did it like five, six years ago. Yeah. So it was a nice, nice, nice run and uh, and uh, good reason to come to Fredrikstad. I saw from uh, the pictures uh, before before uh, while we managed to get this uh, working that uh, you and your wife you run together. Yes, I, I have to admit that my wife is much faster in marathons than me. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, well. Uh, my that's wife. pity. That's that's pity. I have um, to train more. My <laughs> wife is faster than me also, so. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, I, I think it's a good thing. Uh, it means uh, she's uh, in shape and she's keeping you in shape. So uh, yes, it's yes. important. Uh, I mean, you have a he you have a heavy job uh, being a fisherman. I mean, it's not for everyone. It's hard work. Uh, it is. It is. But uh, mostly, it's a uh, it's a seasoned work. Like we work hard in uh, in the springtime for four months. And uh, two months in uh, in autumn as well. The rest of year, it's it's not so hot. So, so do do you fish uh, normal fish uh, or you fish crabs and stuff like that? Oh, well? no, we don't have crabs. We don't have crabs in oh. Estonia. So uh, mostly freshwater fish in, okay. uh, in in meaning of Norway. Yeah. But uh, but we are we are fishing out in the sea. But the Baltic Sea is not so salty. So uh, mostly we are fishing freshwater fish. Yeah. So uh, you have some busy months, and uh, w what do you do the other months? Do you like uh, have any yeah. other hobbies or stuff that you do? Uh, mostly doing sports, but uh, off season we are preparing for a new season, uh, building a new equipment, uh, fixing a nets, uh, fixing a boats, mm. and uh, if you have uh, two children, so you have to do do and take care of them as well. So it's. It's always, I'm always busy. Do any, any of them uh, play football? No, not yet. Uh, youngest one is two and, uh, and the oldest one is four. So it's a little uh, bit too early. A little bit early. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, well, it's nice that you have gotten kids. Uh, you have gotten yourself a good life. You have a second hobby that you can live off. I mean... Uh, it seems to me that uh, things have worked out really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm living very quiet life. So it's. Um, you do the place you live? Is it? Uh, it's outside of Tallinn, or? It's Pärnu. It's uh, in Estonia. We call it summer capital. It's uh, next to the nice sandy beach and. Uh, yeah. In the winter time, it's pretty lonely here, but in the summer time, it's far too many people. Yeah, so it's a it's a tourist place. Uh, yeah, it in, is. So in the summertime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, but that, uh, that, uh, well, uh, but this, uh, this, this city where I'm living and Fredericks that say are very 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 similar. They are almost copy based. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a summer town uh, as well, uh, with uh, a lot of tourists watching uh, Gamle Bean and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. so, uh, so, um, do you miss uh, going out uh, on uh, the field in Fredrikstad with the full stadium and uh, with the uh, for Fredrikstad playing? Because yeah. uh, I, I, 
each each second week I get goosebumps. Uh, same here, same here. If you said for Fredrikstad, uh, it's it's coming immediately. <laughs> what I'm missing most is playing in an old stadium in Fredrikstad. That that was a special place to be. It yeah. was it was ugly stadium, but when you fill it up with people, totally different, totally different. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic atmosphere. It was uh, something special. The the only thing that was horrible there was the toilets, at least for the yeah. ones. Uh, yeah, I saw them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I I have to say that I, I I like the new stadium, but in some ways I miss the old one because it had soul. Uh, yeah, ex ex exactly. If you ask me, am I what I'm missing? Mostly, I'm missing uh, playing in the old stadium, of course. Yeah. New stadium is very nice and uh, very special stadium as well, built mm -hmm. between uh, two factory buildings and uh, and uh, and also a nice place. But uh, but my favorite is Fredrik's old stadium. Yeah. So uh, you are uh, you are you are uh, paying attention to what's happening. Uh, what do you think uh, this year? Do you think they will manage to go up? Uh, it's uh, uh, it's three you know, matches I'm, left. Yeah, probably they are going. I hope they are, <laughs> they they're gonna make it this year. Of course, I, I don't I don't follow games. I'm uh, only reading reports of a game that yeah. they are writing in Fredrikstad blood. So that's that's something different. And of course, I don't know any players. I mean, uh, you were quite many years in Norway because before Fredrikstad, you, you were in Vorderinge as, as yep. uh, well. Do, do you speak Norwegian or, or read it or? I'm 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 reading it, but yeah. uh, I have to admit it's getting worse and worse. So if <laughs> if I'm coming to Norway, I always understand what people are talking. But for me to talk, it's 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 a big problem, and it's it's growing every year. It's it's getting harder and harder. Yeah. So that's that's basically why I'm uh, trying to read the Frederick Supplad every morning to yeah to to keep it a little bit. It's uh, it's probably the same way as, as it is for me because I lived in Sweden when I was younger and uh, I used to know it extremely well and uh, the longer the time goes I forget um, a little bit all the time so so uh, but uh, they say that Norwegian is a, a very hard language to learn so that you, that you could even read it is quite impressive if you if you if you if you compare it to Estonians, and it's totally different. Actually, Norwegian it's pretty easy easy language to learn. But, uh, uh, but the good thing is in Norway is that uh, all the people are speaking very good English, and uh, even uh, older people. So mm -hmm. I still have a very good contact with my with my neighbors in uh, Kresvikvejen. So it's a very nice old couple. I call them my Norwegian parents. So uh, I'm I'm still talking with them every month, and I still have a couple of other friends. Yeah. You know, uh, for me, uh, the, uh, people might be angry now, but for me, when when I hear uh, uh, the Estonian language, in many ways, uh, some of it sounds a bit like uh, Finnish. Uh, yes, it is. It is. It is very similar with Finnish. And uh, what was a funny thing when I I, I played in Norway when uh, in uh, in NRK you have this uh, Sami 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 news. Then yeah. Norwegian, Norwegians couldn't un understand every anything, so I could understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's 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 it's, uh, it's very many similar words with Estonian. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's uh, quite uh, strange uh, that it, it's uh, it's so similar. It is. It is. Um, do you have anything you want to add yourself? Basically, um, anything you want to say to the people that's going to watch this? Because it's going to be a lot of people. Uh, I can promise you that. Yeah, yeah, I can tell them that I haven't forgot them. So and uh, and hopefully next year when the COVID nineties is gone, so I'm coming to Norway and I'm planning to visit all of them. 
So I have very, very, very special feelings. And it's, hope, uh, very excited. Hopefully, you can also go and watch a match in Oberstligen. That would be that's, that's, much that's, better. Yeah, it would be would be nice. It would be nice. Yeah. Uh, Actually, the pity is that uh, that uh, that the uh, team in Fredericks that is not not playing in a, in the highest or the second highest division. I think you uh, agree with me when you say that. Uh, with the interest that we have here in town for football, we should be top five in Norway every year in a way. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally, totally agree, totally agree. But I think that Fredrik's problem was a little bit. Uh, we were growing a little bit, little bit too fast. Mm. So in the end, it 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 didn't turn out so well. That's what I've been saying also. Uh, that, that I felt that. Uh, ever since we went up from second division the first time uh, and then directly up uh, to the top league and and I felt that everything went too fast uh, the organization wasn't ready for it uh, uh, too many players too many too many expensive contracts and it just got out of hand in a way so but uh, but a lot of lot of lot of good things came out of it as well we won we won yeah. a cup final we, we became a second so uh, these are these are results what's in the history books so yeah. so mm. we can, it's still good to re- remember this the strange thing is that the year after you won silver in the league i we went i, I personally yeah but i personally think that between uh, the 16 meter to the other 16 meter we were the best team in Norway. We, we, yeah, out, we, we outplayed all the teams between it, but uh, we had some young goalies that uh, was a bit uh, unsecure, and then we had problems scoring goals, but everything else, we were best of all the teams, so it so was so strange. We, we, had, we had so many good players in the team as well, so much quality, so uh, I think that you're right. Yeah. No, I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that uh, we've got to talk. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, going through all the, 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 the people that um, basically played with you uh, because pretty much all, a lot of the players that were around you during that time, uh, they became legends. I mean, they, many of them stayed for many years. Uh, yeah, I still, I still miss these players. Really, so uh, they are like a process for me. Uh, I have, you know, when I, when I when I put out my videos, I have a design around. Uh, it's not just like it looks now. It it's uh, a lot of color colors and stuff. And uh, I, I'm remaking uh, it now. I have a designer uh, in Indonesia which is making it for me, and I'm adding three jerseys. Uh, which will be in the background, which will be in a frame. Uh, one of them is uh, Rayo Piraga. Uh, the other one is uh, Doug Finn Enneli. And the third one is uh, Peregi Larsson. Yeah. So that will be the three jerseys that will be in the studio. So um, that, um, that shows what you mean. Um, I, uh, I had a lot of people I could select that were, did good and were special uh, for the town and the team. But uh, uh, the first name uh, on my list was Rayo Piraga. So uh, you will be in the studio every single time I have a show, you will be there. So uh, that's a part of your legacy. So uh, And it will never go away. It will be on YouTube forever that... Uh, that you played uh, uh, in Fredrikstad, and uh, um, um, I, ne- I never thought that I would get the chance to talk to you in person. Uh, it's it's been very nice, and uh, um, this moment uh, is something I'm gonna bring with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I can say that. Uh, so, really, thank you, Rayo. Okay. Thanks for uh, you as well. So uh, I wish you good luck with uh, your fishing. Uh, 
maybe next time we talk you have 10 boats uh, no 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 <laughs> we are not we are, we are not growing any bigger so it's okay <laughs> i'll um end it with saying um have a nice week a nice weekend and uh thank you and uh uh, I'll send you the link so you can watch it at uh, YouTube if you want to when it's uh, completed. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Good See luck. You. Bye. Bye-bye.